Now efficiency of a rectifier is defined as and given by the symbol eta the ratio of the DC output power because our primary intention is to get more DC power at the output to that of the input power. So this basically indicates measure of the ability of a rectifier to convert input power into DC power. In fact, the output DC power, let's say POdc, output DC power, is given by the IDC times VDC. It's a DC current through the load resistor and the DC voltage across the load resistor. This can be written equal to IDC and VDC is nothing but IDC times the load resistor, which is equal to IDC square times the load resistor RL. So we know what is the output DC power. Now we need to find what is input power. So to do that, let's see the circuit and how the input power was supplied. The input voltage was like this. We had both positive and negative cycle at the output of the secondary winding of the transformer. Coming to the current, the circuit was allowing current to flow in the first half and in the second half the current was zero which means we have only the positive half cycle for the current to find the input power we need to first find the instantaneous input power which is multiplication of instantaneous input voltage times the instantaneous input current now to find the input power we have to take the average over the time period 0 to 2 pi of the instantaneous power. We know that Vi is given by Vm sin omega t where we took omega t as alpha. That is representation of this waveform and we had current which was given by Im sin alpha when alpha is in between 0 and pi and it was 0 for alpha between pi and 2 pi. This is representation of this graph. Now this input power can be found 1 over 2 pi and integration let's say over the first half cycle Vm sin alpha times Im sin alpha. So we write Vm Im sin square alpha d alpha plus the second half of the wave pi to 2 pi. The voltage is present Vm sin alpha but the current is 0 so the second term would be 0 we have to worry only about the first term so let's find that out which is 1 over 2 pi now Vm is nothing but Im times Rf plus Rl so let me write that down here we know that Vm in the first half cycle is given by Im times the forward resistance of the diode plus the load resistor so let's take that out we will get im square times rf plus rl and now the integration 0 to pi sin square alpha d alpha so this can be written equal to rf plus rl times 1 over 2 pi integral 0 to pi im square sin square alpha d alpha so this term is nothing but IRMS square. So we have the PN is equal to IRMS square times RF plus RF. Now the overall efficiency that we have here is equal to the DC output power which we found here that is IDC square times RL over the input power which is given here that is IRMS square times RF plus RL. We know what is IDC which is IM by pi and IRMS is IM by 2. So the efficiency can be written as IM squared by pi square over IM squared by 2 square times RL over RF plus RL which is equal to 4 by pi square times the ratio of RL to RF plus RL. So this value would be equal to 
4 by pi square is 0 0.405 times RL or RF plus RL. So the maximum efficiency that we can see, assuming given RF is negligible compared to RL, then the maximum efficiency we see would be 40.5%. So in terms of percentages, F maximum efficiency that we can have in half wave rectifier is eta max in terms of percentages would be 40.5%. If you like the video, please press the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and thanks for watching.